Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So if you have viewed this channel for some time, you must probably have heard me say on a couple of occasions in regards to Windows update issues that Microsoft has fixed a issue using a known issue rollback, KRR for short. And I thought this may be a good opportunity to dive a little bit deeper as to what a KRR is because I talk about it so much on the channel and I always give you a quick overview and I always give you a quick overview in a video where we are talking about a update being fixed using known issue rollback KRR. So if you would be interested, just a bit of a deeper dive to kind of get us all on the same page as to what this known issue rollback is all about. Now, according to Microsoft over on Microsoft Docs, Microsoft says, and I'm quoting, Known issue rollback, KRR, is a robust mitigation technology that's built into Windows Update to help you safeguard and troubleshoot individual parts of the update. Microsoft carries on to say, the mitigation mechanism quickly reverts a Windows Update issue by affecting only the targeted change, fix, functionality, or feature that caused the problem. KRR rolls that change back to its previous behavior all other changes that are part of that update remain intact. That's why you may have heard me say before, a KRR is nothing you have to do from your side. You don't have to download another update. It's something, as I've said previously, Microsoft does from their side. And I always say that restarting your PC may speed up the process. Now, Microsoft also gives us the motivation behind KRR, saying that historically, basically up until KRR was introduced, if a Windows update, like a lot of updates do, encountered an issue, the Windows user or organizational IT admin had the following options. So this is before Microsoft used KRR. The first option you would have with a problem update would be to uninstall the entire update, which Microsoft says would prevent you from getting the latest security updates and then leaving your device less secure. Or you could skip the entire update, as in pause it or not download the update. But this option, once again, prevents you from getting the latest security updates, leaving your device once again less secure. Or you could deploy the update and wait for the fix to become available. But this obviously isn't a very viable option, especially if you're suffering from blue screens or crashes. So this option could hamper productivity according to Microsoft. So those are the three options you had before Microsoft introduced known issue rollback. So because of this, to address security and productivity concerns, Microsoft says it created known issue rollback. Now KRR, Microsoft mentions, is a technology solution that allows you to be productive while minimizing the effects on security or compliance and productivity. And it's mentioned that KRR came together as a functionally complete system beginning in Windows 10 version 2004. Since then, Microsoft says most of the code changes in Microsoft's monthly updates support KRR capabilities. So hopefully that sheds a little bit more light on a known issue rollback, which we talk about quite frequently on the channel. So I thought just a bit of a deeper dive just to get us all on the same page in case you are wondering what a KRR is when I mention that with update issues. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.